So, as some of you know, I play in a band called 12 Ball, singer, guitarist in Three Piece, Groove, UK, ZZ Top inspired Motorhead, clusterfuck of a band. We've been a little dormant for the last two years. A uh, bit of a shame. Uh, really, really miss playing with those boys making rock and roll noise. That rhymed unintentionally. But I've been working on some solo stuff and playing a lot of acoustic guitar. And that's kind of what I wanted to do this video about today, which is how I go about writing songs, how I play the acoustic guitar, how I get the sounds that I want out of an acoustic guitar. So first things first, you gotta kind of decide whether you're gonna use a pick or you're gonna use your fingers. And for me, I kind of sometimes use both, but I've mainly got into using my fingers. And that is because you can get so much more dynamic strumming if you're just using your fingers in your hand. For instance, if you're using a plectrum, you've got like... It's got a really nice thud, Johnny Cash kind of thud there. you got like a bit of precision. You've got palm mute, you've got some weight there. But for me, I like, I like frantic and I like sloppy. That sounds dodgy. But anyway, here's, here's, here's the difference using your fingers. So the trade-off is that you kind of get that snare drum hit, the string tap, the speed, the sound of your fingers hitting the strings. Uh, it's almost like having, I don't know, two or three guitars going at the same time. And also with my fingernails, giving away all my secrets, I'm, I'm doing like hammer-ons. And then in between these hammer-ons, I'm hitting the string and I'm using my thumb on like the top string. So I'm kind of doing like three or four things at once. And using my pinky to get more of that. Ooh, use my pinky to get more out of that E major on the G, low E on the third. So when I'm writing songs, that's what I'm doing. Like if I'm just sat here in my room and I'm thinking I want to write a tune, I'm thinking right chords. Maybe I want to do something with a G. And straight away I'm thinking, I want to hear a bass line, a bass note, I want to hear some percussion, I want to hear some rhythm. Because when I've got all those elements, it's going to inspire me to sing, it's going to inspire words, phrasings, choruses, all the, all the important hooks. If you're not writing hooks in your music, do yourself a favour, become a stamp collector or something. Because we need more groove, we need more catchy songs. Uh, so that's what we're doing, I'm picking a G, and straight away, using like the... E to G bass note there. And I'm coming down, coming down, dodgy, coming, <laughs> I'm coming down with my fingertips like that for a hammer on, but then I'm kind of coming up with my thumb and doing a rest. Up to the A, same bass note works. Chromatic slide. Just from using like three or four chords, you've got groove, you've got rhythm, you've got something, well, this works for me, it's something I can work. I can come up with some lyrics, some melodies over the top of that. Um, and when I'm writing songs, I, I'm not like sitting there with a pen and a pad trying to write some opus trying to come up with all the words at once. and try, I mean, I literally just start humming like nonsense words and phrasings. Just shit like that, you know, like, it's not even words, but you start building on melody, you start building on structures, you start getting flavours, and then suddenly words will start coming to those little 
vocal plays you have and before you know it you've written a verse before you know it you've written a chorus and really all this has come from is just heavy strumming melodic percussive guitar work and it's so easy you can do it with open chords with the G um, just hammering on like that B there uh, open A to B I mean, I know that sounds like kind of country, so I guess this is kind of indicative of the music I'm playing at the moment. So, if you want to write some death metal, I wouldn't say this is going to work too too well for death metal. Um, but for the kind of music I'm writing, it's working, it's working, it's working. Another thing I'm trying to do at the moment is incorporate bass notes played with my thumb. I'm writing a solo record, I'm on my jacks, I'm on my lonesome at the moment and I want to try and create the biggest sound possible. I want people to listen to it and, and not get bored because I've been to so many acoustic gigs and man they're so boring like I'm not going to mention the band's names but every time I go to an acoustic gig nine times out of ten I just find myself talking to people just, un just, just completely uncaptivated by the music but when I watch p people like C6 Steve and stuff uh, on YouTube and you know he's doing like so much on his own and it's so captivating John Martin is another person he's doing so much yet it doesn't come across as complicated it just carries his music it carries the message and that's what I'm trying to do so um, there's a song that um, I'm writing at the moment and it just has this like really simple I guess it's a walking bass line kind of Johnny Cash kind of flavour And I think that sounds pretty cool, you know. I mean, look, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just trying to use stuff that is simple and effective that I vibe with and that I can sing over. And for me, like, that that kind of really works for me. And I've been practicing for years. Like, every time I pick up a guitar, I generally just hit an A minor when I'm warming up. Without moving your hand, you've just literally got like... <laughs> you just got so much there. And it's something that I always kind of come back to. So just, just, just rolling with that. Killer verse. You know, and if I had a bass guitar, it'd just be good. So simple, so simple, but effective. So if you're stuck and you think I could never write a song, I could never, ever, ever write a song, that's nonsense. Like if you can, if you can play a chord or one chord, I just fucking miss the chord. Uh, D minor. If you can play D minor, if you can play, I don't know, E minor, the easiest chord, E minor. Right, if you can play E minor, you can play a song. Uh, Get Up, Stand Up by Bob Marley is, is one chord, it's D minor. Actually, he fully doesn't play it like that, it's like. So it's something like that. It's one chord, man, and he's just using, he's just singing up and down the scale in that song, and it, you probably didn't even realise it was one chord because of the great instrumentation and songwriting gone behind that, but if you just sat at home and you've got an old guitar and you're thinking, man, I, God, I just never, I really want to write a song, I'll never be able to do it. My challenge to you is pick up a guitar, a ukulele, a banjo, whatever you play, I would say a penny whistle, but you won't be able to sing and play that at the same time, obviously. Um, and pick one chord. Come up with some strumming pattern and, uh, and just start scatting, not like that kind of scat, start riffing some words, some melodies over one chord. Maybe throw in a second chord, E, e minor to G. Classic. 
and you'll you will literally start forming verses you're gonna start coming up with something even if you just sit there for 10 15 minutes just try and sing over the top just hum something even or just think something if you do that every day for a week you're, you're literally going to end up at the end of the week with something that resembles half a verse or a verse that's how i did it i never had a guitar lesson in my life I just literally just picked guitars up did some youtube vids and found songs and songs and artists that resonate with me and then i looked at what they did and just like copied it not copied like exactly what they, their lyrics and stuff but the flavor copied their flavors i'm not an accomplished player by any means like i'm, I'm a sloppy guitarist but i know what my vibe is and i know what i'm after when i'm trying to write a song so what i say to you people out there is if you want to write a song if you really 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 want to write a song then don't worry about the words the lyrics and the content just get some groove going <laughs> Come up with some chord progressions, whatever, C to G to A minor, A minor, G, whatever, it doesn't matter, D, C, G, and just persevere with it. Don't worry if you're singing out of key, just get some words down eventually on a pen and pad, and then work on your pitching, there's loads of YouTube videos, but the, the main thing is, is just pushing through, becoming like a bedroom, a bedroom player, and taking it to that next step, having the confidence to open your mouth and spit some words out. It's pretty scary. Uh, my singing, is, uh, my clean singing has only really come on in the last kind of year and a half where my girlfriend, Helen, she's an incredible singer and she would literally be like, Tommy, you're singing so flat, that sounds real shit. And I'll get really pissed off and go, oh, it doesn't sound shit. But actually it wasn't, it really wasn't in pitch. And she was really pushing me to listen to what was coming out of my mouth and not just like thrashing away at the guitar uh, blindly and just tr trying to wing it so what I would say is although you need to get some words out and some lyrics and get singing the next step for me is going to be once you've got something is just making sure your pitching is tight and um, I don't know why I just played that weird um the suspense Get your little verse going, get your chords going, get some words down. And when, you're, when, you, when you've really got that down and you can sing it, strum some single chords and make sure that what you're singing is in pitch and in time. And once you've got to that stage, you can really start moving on with it. Start maybe throwing a chorus, throwing a middle eighth. I'll probably do some separate videos about like writing choruses and things like that, separate choruses. That's kind of like a completely different thing on its own. So I hope that's helped. I hope it's been like a bit of an insight. I hope I haven't waffled on too much. Uh, actually, I'm not like some kind of guitar video genius kind of person. I literally pick up an acoustic guitar and just start smashing it and a song comes out. I've got no finesse. I don't really know anything about music theory. I just know how to write a song with a block of wood with some pieces of metal on it and some tuners. I don't know nothing about fixing guitars or anything. I just know how to write raw rock and roll and blues music basically. And I just wish you all the best of luck. Don't get like put off. Um, just keep thrashing it out. Keep doing YouTube tutorials. YouTube your favorite guitarist and just keep on with it. And before you know it, you'll have a song. So anyway, it's over and out from me. Peace. <laughs>